today's episode of Mark of PTI's Garage. We're popping out the ECU of this 2014 uh, TDI because we're going to get this Kerma tuned. Woo! So stay tuned because we're going to show you how to pull an ECU out and get that shipped overnight because this is Pinchiao's Garage and this is what we do. For the uh, first step, pop your hood open, turn off your car, take this little ugly battery covered thingy off, and you're going to pull out the battery. So first thing we need to do is disconnect the negative, then the positive, using a 10 millimeter socket or wrench, but socket preferred. And you're going to disconnect these guys right here, there and there. And just be careful not to touch the positive with the wrench. Lefty Lucy man. Just a couple turns will do. And get this side too now. And then what you do is give it a little shimmy. A little shimmy. And it should pop right off. Should. <laughs> like that. Yeah. There we go. So take that guy off. Now this will reset your car, uh, your car's ECU, completely. So be forewarned if you have any settings or anything done. Well, they're gone. <laughs> All right, and make sure you tuck the bad, uh, the power cord kind of out of the way. You know, so it doesn't touch anything. So next is that we're going to take this rubber trim off right here, all the way across. And we're going to take these two covers off right here. One here, one there. So the wipers have to come off. So, come on. Uh-oh. Lost a wrench. There's Zonzo. Hello. <laughs> Hola. Hola. <laughs> Mr. Weirdo. Okay. So when you um, get to this point, you will see if you pop this up a little bit there's the ECU hidden right there in that little corner um, we have to figure out how to pop this sucker out in a minute doesn't look very easy <laughs> we'll find out in a minute and not lose it <laughs> I'll get it keep going so with the fly head Go, you're gonna cover it and you're gonna pick up the notch. Thank you, Papa. And then there, and then exposes the uh, the nut there, which is a 13 millimeter right there and there. Hmm. Hmm. This is not hot. It has 10. I was at a number and it has a 10 number. Mm -hmm, that's right. What does that mean? That means it's 10 millimeters. Don't hit the car, Mark. Jeez, I got that on film now. <laughs> so you're going to take those two off. And then once you get these two nuts off, you got to wiggle the crap out of the, out of the wipers until they come off. And then you'll be able to take this whole uh, cowl off right here. Okay, guys? Just chill. Uh, once, once the wipers are removed, we're going to... Uh, let's see this. See these little rubbers? Pull them off. Just be careful not to rip them. They kind of like move over to the right and turn them. There you go. There you go. Now put these aside. And then now the cowl is almost completely removed. We might not need to remove it completely. Don't know yet. Gotta check because if these are glued in, then we don't want to. What are these? Hmm? Oh, 
over here. Cool. Oh yeah. I threw those away. You can see down there. Not as easy to get to. We'll see. We'll show you guys in just a minute how we pop this off. So the next thing that we did is that there's a 10 millimeter here and a 10 millimeter here. You're gonna take those off and then you see this little grommet here? This is what holds the uh, ECU loom right there. Pull that off and then you'll be able to just pull straight out and this comes off. This is the heat shield. Now that that's been done, it'll expose this right here. See these two? You're gonna need to get a Dremel and cut a slit or yeah, grind a slit right down the middle on both of them. Now what that's gonna let you do is let you use a flathead screwdriver to break these loose. Okay, we'll show you guys that next. So with your uh, low budget Dremel, I'm gonna go down here, don't get it too close, but yeah, we're gonna go right here, and you're just gonna cut a slit right into it. Don't go too deep. Just big enough so you can fit a flathead screwdriver in there. We'll grab a nice big flathead. Something that's got some leverage on it. Come on. Yeah, keep going. Maybe a little bit deeper. And then Take that sucker out. See, I got it. That way you can reuse these because these are actually meant to be broken off. There was some, not, you're not supposed to be able to do this. That's why these, uh, if you look on top of these, these nuts have like a socket on top. Once they hit a specific torque spec, they just break right off. But we're here to fix stuff. You're supposed to break it, fix it, and then repeat. All right, Mark's turn. I'm going to let him do it for the next one. Since he watched the entire process, now he's going to get to do it. Wait. No, the switch is on the bottom by your hand. Oh. Turn that sucker on. Same thing, just go straight up. Keep it in the middle. All right, let go. Now turn it off. Now try to break it loose with the fly head, uh, which is heavy. right here. That should come off now. Push into it harder and then turn. It's gonna be hard. Oh, oh hold on. Let me try it. I don't want to. I don't want you to All break right. it. So now with these two bolts removed, you're gonna pull this sucker out like that, and then you're gonna pull the tray out of the ECU. Now, if you come over here, you see right here, there's this little locking system. So the way that I got to do that is open it up through here. And that unlocks that. Pull this bar up. Because what that does is kind of locks the ECU right there. Now that gives us right here, here's the pull tab to actually pull the ECU completely off. Come on.
There we go. And then there's another pull tab on the opposite side. Take your time. Don't try to force it too hard. Pull that one off. Pull that off. And ECU is now removed. Voila. Next process is to box it and ship it because we're going to Kerma TDI. And we're going to get this sucker tuned for our big trip to Arkansas. And we're going to do some testing with see how it does on gas mileage and everything else. See you guys next time. We're going to be shipping this.